Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. Hope you're finding these sessions useful and subscribing to the channel. In today's video in Azure, I'm here to show you how to configure point-to-site VPN connectivity with Azure AD authentication, all by using Azure or by using OpenVPN protocol. So as you know that uh, there are different ways you can connect to your resources within Azure, and uh, VPN connectivity is one of the option, and it supports different protocol nodes. Specifically for OpenVPN, it's a server client uh, kind of a protocol in which you can definitely deploy a server with OpenVPN in Azure and you can download the clients on the machines and they will be able to access it. Or you can do deploy that with a VPN gateway, uh, the virtual network gateway within Azure, which is its own native service. And then you can use uh, OpenVPN client to establish the connection. And that is what we're going to follow today. And for today's demonstration, I'm going to deploy everything within one resource group called Customer RG, in which I have a Customer VNet and Customer Subnet, and we'll also have a dedicated subnet for our VPN gateway, which is uh, one of the prerequisites to deploy Virtual Network Gateway. So let's get started. So we'll start with step number one, which will be to create Virtual Network. For this demonstration, I'll use the address space 192.168.0.0, but feel free to use anything that you want. So step number is done uh, with the creation of the virtual network. And if I can go to the resources, you can see that uh, my network is in place. Now, what we're going to do now is to deploy a virtual network gateway. And this is going to be our step number two. For that, I can do a quick search. And this process takes some time, so I'm going to pause the video while this is uh, getting spun up. I'll name this customer gateway. Try this in the same region, which is Canada Central. SQ, I'm going to use this GW1, generation one. And the virtual network will be the customer VNet, the one that we just created. And the gateway subnet range. No, I don't need 256 address, so I'm going to use uh, slash 27. So 32 address is good. Or you can also go with 28 with 16 addresses. So any of that uh, will work. And you also need to have a public IP for your gateway. Now, I don't need to have uh, active active mode for this, but if you want, you can uh, do that. And I don't not configuring any PGP here. So I will just go review and create and click on the create button. Now on an average, this process take anything between 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to pause the video while this is getting deployed. Welcome back. So as you can see that step number two has been done. Our gateway has been deployed successfully. So let's move on. Now, step number three, before we can do any further configuration, we need to grant access to the Azure VPN enterprise application. And for that, you need to go to a specific uh, URL, which I will leave that in the, in the description. 
of this video and you need to be a global admin in order to provide that so what i've done is you just need to say access this application or allow access to the application i've already done this right and uh, what you'll do is uh, if i go to my azure active directory you can find that under the enterprise application And once that application has been granted application, you'll see that Azure VPN will be here right over here. This is what we require, right? So this will be step number three. Now, step number four will be to go inside our virtual network gateway. So let me go there. This is a gateway, customer GW. If I go to point to site configuration and configure now, we need to give an address pool. And this address pool from which the clients will be getting those IP addresses. What I'm going to do is for this demonstration, I'm going to use uh, address pool, but feel free to do anything. And tunnel type, I'm going to use open VPN. And one other reason I'm making this video is that when we talk about different protocol, like for example, SSTP, it has a limitation of how many clients can establish the connection. But with open VPN, that limit is far more higher. So if you are in an environment uh, where you need uh, more than the connection which SSTP generally provide, you can go with open VPN uh, protocol. There are also other options, but I'm going to use OpenVPN uh, protocol. And under the authentication type, you have three options. You have Azure Certificate, Radius Authentication, Azure Active Directory. I've also already made videos on both these options, Azure Certificate and Radius. But for this demonstration, we're going to test out Azure Active Directory authentication. And then you need to provide the Azure Active Directory tenant information, audience, and issuer. And for tenant, you need to provide uh, you need to upload this uh, exact URL. So I'm just going to copy this, put this here. And the next information you need is the tenant ID. So you'll be needing tenant ID both at the tenant and both at the uh, issuer. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause the video, but let me just give you the audience will be similar for you. So this is going to be the audience and I'm going to copy this. And again, I'll leave this information in the description. And for the issuer, I need uh, this URL with the tenant ID. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to pause the video uh, once I provide the tenant ID both here and I'll resume it. All right, so the point to site configuration has been also saved uh, successfully. And with this, we have uh, completed step number four. And now moving on, step number five will be the final step in which we'll be downloading the VPN client. And uh, finally, we'll try to test this by using a user within Azure Active Directory. So let's go back to the portal and download VPN client. Client has been downloaded. So let me go and I'm going to open this with Windows Explorer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the Azure VPN file here. And we'll need this uh, XML configuration. 
All right, so with that in place, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to one more URL and going to download the VPN client. So let me go and grab this. With the VPN client also downloaded, I'm going to go add and import the certificate, the one that we downloaded, the XML certificate. Right here, let's go and click on open. And the connection name VPN server will be automatically populated for you with all the information. Let me just go and click on save. Okay, and uh, let's go and click on the connect button. So right now it is in disconnected state. It's trying to connect and you can see that uh, this is in connected mode right now. So if I go under IP config, under my command prompt, you will see it is getting the IP address. You see the customer VNet right over here, and it is getting the IP address from the pool that we have uh, specified, so 10.0.0.2. And uh, the reason it didn't ask me for the credential because I think I was already connected to it. Let me say disconnect and uh, let me try to connect. And you can see the connection properties. It's in connecting state right now. And uh, you can also further go and configure and make changes to anything, you can do that too. But with this, we have successfully configured point to site connectivity by using Azure AD authentication and open ID protocol. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, have a good day.